Hey guys, it's Andrew with Trekker Trailers, your tiny, tiny house guy. Just wanted to show you this uh, latest uh, tiny house we built. This one is a 16-footer. It's our typical shed-style roof, so real efficient, um, cost-effective, real strong. On the outside, we have a painted finish like we've done on some of them before, but we did the, uh, the cypress batten strips and all, a good high-grade exterior plywood, treated and uh, primed and painted. It's going to last, you know, hundreds of years. On the other three sides, we have our gavel loom, the metal. I still love this industrial look, and this is the first one we've done with the metal and then a painted front on it, and I, I really like it. I think we're gonna do some more like that. That was per the customer's request, so uh, kudos to her for picking that. Um, we have our six gallon water heater, the uh, RV style we've been using. This works really good. Down in Florida here, we can put them on the outside. We don't have to worry about pipe trees and stuff. Save some space inside. Um, this house is getting, the customer is going to put a compost toilet in there, so we didn't have to run any sewage lines, we just did the gray water. And you see down here, I did a, uh, just a, a connection, we can connect the garden hose to it. So now she can collect all that rainwater, run it off into her garden or into the grass. It really is good for plants. It's got a little bit of soap in it, keeps the bugs out, and it's good for uh, plants to grow in. Let me take you to the inside. So again, customer picked these colors on here and I, I love them, they did a really good job. This is uh, going to be for a mother and daughter, uh, I think her daughter is 11 years old. So they want to be uh, in a home with no payments and this is a good way for her to do it. Something that's going to be solid and last for you know lots and lots of years. She can pass it down to her kids and her grandkids. It will be around that long. So she did have a limited budget, that's why I want a little bit smaller house. And so we did a loft, just a small loft for her daughter. This would be a, a twin bed up high. There's still room. I mean, I'm a short guy. Yeah, I get it. But I can still get up underneath here. But what will be cool is she's going to put a couch or a day bed here. And the couch will either open up into the main bed or she'll just use a day bed. And then you still have room to put a couple of barrel chairs here, maybe a little bistro dinette. Um, so yeah, even though it's small, 16 feet, there's a lot of open space in here. It's really cool. We hung some pennant lights, and uh, those had a nice little homey feel to it. The drywall, I'm loving the drywall. We've done uh, two of these now with the drywall, and I think we're going to do some more uh, versus the tongue and groove pine that we did on the uh, others. But, okay, so here's this one has the uh, floor storage we've been doing. There's her touch-up paints, so she can uh, match it all. Um, this one I made the hatch a little bit shorter. The storage still goes all the way back, but I thought just in case they wanted to put a chair or something here, it wouldn't get in the way. Um, come on out here and I'll show you the kitchen. So she didn't need much kitchen. So we did it, did a nice did maple finish, you know, maple plywood here. Uh, nice finish on it. Did an industrial stainless steel countertop. A buddy of mine has a fabrication shop for these. He's done kitchens for Disney's and such. So he said, hey, I'll whip something together. And she's going to add uh, like the Ikea shelving and things. So it'll blend in really good with this um, commercial kitchen look here. A uh, little fridge with a separate freezer. And in the bathroom here. So we did a one piece fiberglass shower or a two-piece fiberglass shower install in here. Um, this is the first one we've done like this, and I really like it. It's cool, it's clean, it's easy to do. I mean, it, it, and it's a big shower. This is the same shower you put in your house, and, well, it just is what it is. We got a little window here. Obviously, you want some sort of ventilation in the bathroom. And here's another cool thing. Because she's doing the compost toilet, she can just set it here, and uh, if she doesn't like it there, eventually she can move it off to the side, but. In here, in this section, um, we're going to have a, she's going to do a closet. So you'll have a closet in a space. So we'll have a private area they can get out of the shower. They can still get dressed without having to go into the open room. So they have some privacy for things like that. Um, and because it's just open and nothing installed permanently, she can switch it around however she wants as, you know, time goes on. She changes her needs or desires. Still have a little bit of a storage above it. Plenty of room to put stuff. I mean, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of storage in here, but between the storage above the bathroom, these two big, deep floor storage bins, 
and then this big cabinet here um, for the kitchen area. There actually is a lot of storage here, and there's still room for furniture that has built-in storage, or um, you know they can section off a section back under the uh, loft there for a closet or extra storage. But it 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 is a nice little home, and it has a really homey feeling in here. So anyway, I thought you'd like to check this out, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm Andrew with Trekker Trailers. Like us on Facebook. And by the way, we were on HGTV. Check us out there on Tiny House Hunters. Have a good one. Thanks.